What if social media could save lives? Right now, there are literally millions of people struggling with undiagnosed medical conditions. I'm Brittany, Kamaya's mom. She's six years old. She's paralyzed anywhere from three to 20 seconds, over 300 times a day. I was in the Gulf War. I served eight years, and now I'm losing my memory. Every time the deja vu happens, I feel my eyes roll in the back of my head, and then I flatline. Sadie has this incurable disease that the only thing you can do is, you know, remove half of her brain. How could that be the only thing you do to, to a kid? My body is going through something. The doctors are like, we can't help you. I want to know if somebody else has this. They need something different the kind of thinking that happens usually outside the hospital. I'm Dr. Lisa Sanders, and I'm a physician at Yale. And for the past 15 years, I've written a column for the New York Times Magazine about patients who have mysterious symptoms. But I always wanted to go the next step. Using the internet, we have the ability to harness all the intelligence of people around the planet to get some answers. I was thrilled to see that many responses. It's what we hope for. Never, ever, ever give up. There is somebody out there that understands. The symptoms align perfectly with the things that I've experienced. There's another mom out there like me that was looking for an answer. We're not the only ones. You gotta keep a positive attitude. <laughs> it's good news. We can create a movement. There's hope. One, two. <laughs> Are you trying to kick me? No! I did not do it on purpose. I know.